Hi everyone, so I'm in the motorhome again, um, Andy's gone to the gym, so he's asked me to video anything I do to it, um, so I'm just coming to give you an update on what I'm going to do next. So, as you can see, the table that we did is looking a bit bubbly, so I'm wondering if we need something different for that, I have got another idea for that. It was only a fibre, so if it didn't work it doesn't matter too much. Um, I've got another idea for that today anyway. Uh, what I am going to do today is have a go at washing these seat covers. Um, the plan eventually is to have a go at covering them, uh, but we're just going to have a go at washing them for the time being until we decide what we're going to do in terms of covering them. Um, I think that that side, okay, it's underneath some boxes, but when we checked earlier, that side looks a lot cleaner than that side. Um, I don't know if that side has somebody's tried to clean it before. Uh, so what I'm going to do is have a go at taking off the dirtier side, I'll just move these coats, taking off the dirtier side and having a go at washing them today and see how they come out. So I'm going to try and prop this up somewhere while I um, do that. I'm not an expert with the camera so I've actually got it propped up in my slipper there. I'm not sure what you can see, let me see, no it's a bit high that isn't it, you can just see next door's house. Ah. Okay, that should work. Right. Because I need two hands to see if there's a zip on it on these or something. Hmm, it's not really working that. I think there's some sort of featherweight there. I don't know what it is. There we go. It's in a slipper boot with some baby wipes shoved in to keep it up. Right, so let's have a look at this. So it's got a zip on the back. I'm not going to do this up. I'm not going to do too many of them because I've only got a small washing machine. Um, these are going to be a nightmare to get back on. I've done this before with a sofa cover and they're really hard to get back on. But I thought since the weather's quite nice today, um, I might do it today and then might be able to hang them outside to dry. It's going to be really hard this. This is probably quite boring. Andy will edit it. He's really good at editing boring videos, you might have noticed. <laughs> He's going to kill me when he hears that. Oh, it's sort of coming off. This end's got a bit of like foam. It looks like it's had some extra stuffing in at some point. Hmm. I'm just wondering if at some point we need to um, actually replace the foam as well. It's really hard to get off. Oh, it's coming out there now. Ah, do it. There. Oh, it's because it's got those little button thingies on. I'm going to have to take those off first. That's really annoying because they're at the back, normally they're on the front. Why are the buttons attached to the form? That's weird. I'm just going to have to pull it all off, aren't I? I'm just going to go for it. I'll fix it. Oh, so it goes up through there. It's like an elasticy thing. You've got to pull the button up first and pull the elasticy thing. Oh, oh, yeah, the buttons are a bit broken, I think. That's not good. Do you know what? I might just go and get some scissors and cut them off. Hmm, not sure what to do. Look, it's come off because the back of the button, it's all rusty. So the rusty bits are sort of corroded and it's all come off. I might just wait till Andy comes back and see what he says. Oh, see, that one's come off as well. Oh, well, I might as well just pull them off now. They're mostly off. I'm just going to pull them off. I wonder if there's any scissors in here. I'm just going to go and see if there's some scissors. Let's take the camera. Because this caravan is very well equipped, as you've seen before. But we have tidied some of it out. I bet there's everything but scissors in here. Got tape measure, sellotape batteries, pens, but no scissors. Let's just look in the kitchen cupboard thingy. Ah, scissors. Right, let's go back and put you back in the slipper. Mm. Maybe that the right angle. There. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these off. 
Uh, might have to put new ones on or whatever. <laughs> you got I'll show you the rusty bit. Look, that was the that's what the button looked like. I don't know if you can see that. It's just rusty and corroded and they're gonna fall off at some point. When we put new covers on, I've seen online how you can actually when you put new covers on actually use the buttons um sort of pull them up and put loom bands around them to make the buttons show up through the uh new covers but obviously it's not going to work with these ones because they're broken we might get some new buttons and somehow fix it on let's see decide these ones are coming off now better because i'm not pulling at them i'm just this really looks like it's been repadded because there's look at this big piece of like random padding at the end. Oh, there's, there's quite a big chunk out of the cushion at the end. It's it's obviously someone's tried to repad that because it's not sort of a regular shape at the end. I wonder if it's worth getting whole new seat pads eventually. See the buttons on the front have already been pulled off, so that that tells me that somebody's already tried to wash these. Um, but I don't know how they got the back off, so that's weird. But anyway, I've got one off now. I think I'll get one more off. I'm going to zip it up again because it's all sort of bitty inside and I don't want them bits to all go in my washing machine. So let's have a look on the front, see if we think there were some buttons on it. Oh, so there are buttons on the front, but the buttons on the front are just fastened through the actual thing itself. The buttons on the back were fastened all the way through the um, form, which is a bit strange. It's probably to keep it in place, I guess. I'll keep that extra bit of form. Um, right, I've done that one. I'm going to put that down there. I think I'll just do one more. I'll do the seat pad, and I think that'll be enough. I can show you the difference, look. Actually, I'll take this out. Um, so you can see that's the corner i don't know if it's really visible on here but that's the corner where nobody's hardly ever sat so it looks quite clean and then if we sort of pan across here i don't know if you can tell but it's quite it looks dirty and it's quite faded as well um so that's when we, we're gonna have a go giving it a wash this material won't die it's it's a synthetic material that won't die so the first idea was to have a go at dyeing them because we've had success with the curtains curtains were this hideous pink colour before and now they are a sort of brownie colour. We did want them grey but it didn't work out like that so we're going with brown. Not quite as nice as grey but better than the pink they were before. So I'm just going to take the bottom seat cover off and see what's happening here. See if I think that somebody's been... Yeah I think they're going to need cutting off. Where's the zip? Where's the zip? Oh, there's the zip. Oh, I'm just going to pull the zip off. Might need a hand to get this out. They're really tight. This is going to be a nightmare to get back on. If they're this hard to get off, they're going to be a nightmare to get back on. But I'm not even sure why I'm washing them if we're going to cover them. But I just don't like the thought of covering something dirty up. I just. I, bit gross to me that I'm going to put a nice new clean cover on a sort of really dirty old cover underneath I think it's just quite gross oh I might need to wait for some help for this I have done it before on my own with a sofa it was really hard the sofa I did but it came up really nice I think you're supposed to wash them in cold water but we'll have a look see if there's any labels on it I did my sofa in cold water when I did my sofa um, and it came out nice, but the sofa was a sort of dark red colour, so the dirt didn't show up too much. I don't know how good cold water is going to bring this up, because it is quite dirty. Um, right, I need to start chopping these bits off now. So, just chopping there. And there. These would have come off anyway, um, even if I hadn't chopped them, because they're just so corroded. See if I can put some new ones on when we get new covers. I've been watching a few videos about how you can recover them quite cheaply. So we're gonna probably order some, not order loads, 
just order a few of the covers um, and decide what we're going to do with it. Yes, yeah, see the front ones definitely been pulled off before these, I think. Uh, there's two rows of buttons on this big seat bottom as well, so I'm going to have to cut the second row off as well. You know, some of the second row's already off. Very strange. I might go and price up some new foam, actually, because the foam's pretty gross. Um, I'll see what Andy says when he gets back from the gym. Right, so... Uh, the scissors in this last one. Uh, uh, can't do it. Let me just pull this off at this end a bit more. You see me. Uh, God. This is a workout. I don't know why he went to the gym. He could have just helped me with this. Uh, can't do it. It's just stuck this final corner. I wonder if it's got another button on it somewhere that I've not spotted. No. Once it's... Ah, I've done it. All right, the corner's out now. So now that the corner's out... Whew. Oops, some more buttons have fallen on the floor. Oops, Ooh, lots of buttons are falling all over the floor. They're actually rubbish, those buttons. I don't think there's any point keeping them. They're really horrible and poor bits. We'll buy some nicer ones. Right, I've got one more button to cut off, and then I'm gonna. Oh, it just popped off. It was that corroded. It just popped off. Right, I'm gonna pull the buttons out because I do not want them in my washing machine. So I'm gonna check that all the buttons are out before I put them in the washing machine. Right, oh, that was hard work. So I'm gonna zip this one up, pull all the buttons out because, like I said, I don't want them in my washing machine. And then we'll go in the kitchen and put it in the washing machine and then we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Hopefully the weather will still be nice. Oh, there's loads of buttons on the back. I don't know if I want to pull them all out, but I really don't want them. Oh no, they're just coming out, it's fine. They're just pulling off, easy. Just pull them all off. Um, any more on there? No, any on the front? There's loads on the front. Oh, they come off easy, I'll just pull them off. I feel like I'm creating myself a sewing job here. I don't know why that one's not coming off. Is it stuck around the back still? No. Hmm, that one's weird, it's stuck. Oh, there it is. So Andy said he thought there was no buttons on these, but the obviously is. We might put the buttons back on, we might not. I've seen a video, um, of somebody doing it with the buttons and it does re look really good with the buttons back in makes it look really well upholstered even with cheap covers but there are quite a lot of buttons i don't know if i can be bothered right i'm gonna end that video there and i'm going to go and shove these in the washing machine and then we'll see how they come out okay so see you in a bit so viewers, it's later in the day. The big reveal is that the cushion covers are a lot cleaner. Vicky put them in the washer earlier. And this is what they look like. So they look cleaner. Do you think they'll fit back on, Vicky? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have to see, aren't we? We're also gonna look at getting new foam because the foam was a bit dated inside. Don't know where sells foam. Boys. Boys, they have foam and can we get that like cut to shape and stuff? So we'll check out Boys, B O Y E S. I don't know if they're nationwide, but there's one in there's one in our town and it's pretty good actually. It's got all the bits and stuff that we need to carry on with this renovation of the motorhome, which is just there. In front of it's just there, look. So this is a wrap on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Vicky's channel. Vicky is also a YouTuber. Miss Bennett's German channel. And we'll see you next Thursday at 4pm UK time. Bye bye for now. Say bye Vicky. <laughs>